uh, decided that I was going to show, because some people might have a concern, can I get away with doing something a little cheaper versus something that's a little more expensive, as far as stabilizing your images for your video. I'm going to be using the Panasonic 12-60. to It's a fairly inexpensive lens, but it's got a built-in optical image stabilizer, so the actual lens itself has an image stabilization feature. The Blackmagic camera, Pocket 4K, can use that feature on this particular lens, so that's why I'm going to be using that. I can turn it off, I can have it on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a scene and I'm going to be moving around that scene uh, with the camera by itself and just the image stabilization from the lens. The camera mounted to the newer shoulder stabilizer, which is around a hundred some dollars. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive uh, for what you get. And the Mose Air Cross 2. This is going to give you a little bit of information regarding do I need a stabilizer? Can I get away with just the uh, image stabilization in the lens itself? So we're going to find that out. I'm going to put this, I think, at about the 18 uh, millimeter. You can go to 12 millimeter, and what that's going to do is you, the wider the image, you know, I'm going to make it a little harder. I'm going to put it to the, the 25. And so 25 is fairly close to human eyes, which is 50 millimeter equivalent. So what we generally see, and that pulls it in a little closer. So movement is going to be exaggerated to some degree. We're going to see how well each one of these devices individually will handle that. Okay, this is HD with no optical image stabilization on the lens. This is literally the camera lens mounted to the body through my attempts at trying to stabilize this through my careful walking. And uh, <laughs> I can already see that it's problematic. Same thing, we're running it at no optical image stabilization, but this time 4K. So this is with the image stabilization turned on and I am going to just move about them. And this is HD, by the way. So I will be doing it in 4K, so you also get a different perspective on that as well, how much that changes. This means it's cropped in on the sensor a little differently. This is my just hand holding it and using the image stabilization in the lens itself, moving around them. Okay, now this is utilizing the 4K sensor. This is still with the lens itself, optical image stabilization. And you can see that it, at least it appears to me, that the, it is a bit more stable. Again, 25 millimeter on the Panasonic 12 to 60, moving around. So now I'm using the newer shoulder rig, walking side to side. This is the camera. Lens the camera lens has no optical image stabilization. No optical image stabilization. It's on the newer shoulder rig and 4K. Optical image stabilization 
on the newer shoulder rig. And again, side to side motion is a bit more difficult. You're gonna get a lateral movement that's harder to account for because of how we walk. Optical image stabilization, newer shoulder rig, 4K. Much better, as you can see. At least on my monitor for the Black Magic. Its own monitor. Okay, so this is the Mose Air Cross 2. No optical image stabilization. Side to side movement. You can see it holds much more steady. This is 2K. Now we've got it 4K. No optical image stabilization, the Mose Air Cross 2. Now some people might be wondering how the optical image stabilization works with the Mosaic Cross or any other stabilizer. You'll see that after a while I've got the image stabilizer on the lens turned on and the, <laughs> using the Mosaic Cross too. When you have one particular center that is the focus it doesn't do too bad. But as soon as you start moving and turning, what happens is it catches up the image stabilization. But you'll get this little jerk in there that sometimes shows up. So it's inconsistent behavior between the stabilizer and the lens and the Mose Air Cross 2 or any other stabilizer. Okay, optical image stabilization in the lens. 4K on the Mose Air Cross 2. It's actually pretty nice. And if we are shooting in 4K and delivering in 2K, we can also use image stabilization uh, features of software like DaVinci Resolve to make it even smoother. Because with 4K you get a little bit of headroom and footroom depending on how you shoot it. And thank you to Omen Ninja for playing a little bit there and giving you something to look at.